Sim Update 6 for Microsoft Flight Simulator is set to release tomorrow, bringing with it a number of improvements. Meanwhile, Seafront Simulations have released a mod that adds a bunch of sea vessels into the game, whilst a new jet is on the way from FlightFX, so let's take a look. This is the Cirrus F-50 Vision Jet, and it's seriously impressive. Making its maiden flight in 2008, this is the first certified single-engine civilian jet. As such, it's very unique among aircraft. Third-party developers of FlightFXN have announced that they are bringing this plane to Microsoft Flight Simulator, and on screen you can see the early work of this plane's model. In terms of avionics, the Vision Jet will be using some of the work from the freeware mod of the Garmin G3000 that working title are developing in partnership with Microsoft. This means the plane should have a very comprehensive avionics system and one which a lot of people will be familiar with. With a maximum cruise speed of 300 knots, the Vision Jet is likely going to be very interesting to fly when it releases for the sim. Currently, however, there's no release date or price on this plane, but it's certainly one to keep an eye on. Now, Sim Update 6 will be released on the 19th of October, that's tomorrow. The update will be the first new Sim Update since Flight Simulator released on consoles. There's no patch notes just yet, but they should be available early tomorrow. The update will include a number of fixes as well as some improvements to the sim. Here's a few parts that we already know about. The graphic settings on PC will get a new option that will allow the level of detail for terrain to be extended all the way up to a new limit of 400, which goes beyond the current limit of 200. As some people have pointed out previously, this can currently be modded through changing one of the sim's config files. However, Asobo seem to have made some changes to the sim which go beyond what is possible with the custom config file changes. But all that said, we will get to see just how effective this change is soon. Night lighting, meanwhile, has been improved with the sim update 6, although the further improvements for that are due with sim update 7. And the same is true for turboprop engine logic, some of that coming in sim update 6, the rest further down the line. Ground texture improvements will also arrive in tomorrow's update. However, it seems that these are going to be an ongoing work in progress, or a continuously revised, let's put it that way, extending way beyond the Sim Update 7. Likely a permanent ongoing update then, which would make sense when considering the size of the world. According to the feedback snapshot, the anti-aliasing problem in the option menu for PC for VR will be fixed with the next update. VR reflections should also be fixed, However, the feedback snapshots have never been a terribly reliable for what to expect in any given update, so let's see what the patch notes say tomorrow. Finally, there's two annoying graphical bugs that Microsoft have confirmed will be fixed. The first of these is the white dot that appears in the middle of the screen when using the head look with the controller. The other is the UI menu bar that gets stuck at the top of the screen. I've got to be very glad to see both of these fixed and you will see those particular problems throughout this video uh, in a lot of scenes. There it goes again right there. Now also on screen, you can see a list of all the issues that Microsoft have so far confirmed will be fixed with tomorrow's update. So uh, check that out. I'll be back tomorrow with a video on all of that anyway. So uh, we'll take a closer look then. Moving on, Seafront Simulations are a third party developer with a specialization in adding boats, yachts and other sea vessels into Microsoft Flight Simulator. The latest edition brings 18,000 vessels to the southeast of England, incidentally, the very region I live in. Now, perhaps the most notable of these additions is the historic ships, and the HMS Victory is certainly one of these. And in fact, it can be visited in the historic dockyards of Portsmouth. Now, what really stands out is the age of this classical ship. First launched in 1765, this ancient boat of war was the flagship for Lord Nelson. The update costs around £11 and is available from the Orbex website. This means, of course, that you will need Orbex Central in order to install these. If you are interested in ships, Seafront Simulations also have a complete improvement to global shipping lanes. This adds 50,000 routes worldwide for ships. Both of these you can find linked in the video description. Now, personally, I'm very curious about what uh, Seafront Simulations have to offer, so it's very likely I'll be checking this all out in a video in the future. So if you're unsure yourself whether to make the purchase, 
do hold on for that video and I'll take a look at this and let you know what I think about it. That then brings us to the end of this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.